this is Kai's room. I think it is. And then this is the other room. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's tiny rooms. I don't know about a king size bed being in any one of these two. Also, this is the king, this is the master bedroom. The rooms are so small. But it's okay. We're gonna make it work. So this is what it's currently looking like. Real crazy. Real crazy. Before things got better, they got worse. I took off the doors. <laughs> and I ended up leaving it like that for multiple reasons. One, it gave the room a, more character. It made it look bigger. And it forced me to keep things organized. Sometimes when we have doors, we tend to shove stuff in there and hide it behind the doors. And it also was more functional. The sliding doors would sometimes get in the way of both Greg and I looking at our clothes at the same time. So this was a super easy fix to our problem. What's cool about these sliding doors is that when we move, we can literally just pop them back into place. Although this dresser took me a few days to complete, I got it done. And this was actually the one that I originally wanted, but of course Ikea was out of stock per usual. I then went ahead and organized both mine and Greg's clothing according to season, put away all the summer stuff that I knew I wouldn't use, and also got rid of a lot of clothes to declutter our closet. That is very important. Let go of the things you know you're not gonna use and donate it. Alright, so now let's get into the main bedroom area, the bed. We were sleeping on the floor for a while, Greg loved it, but I was like, no, we need a bed frame, so I bought one from Ikea. I went for one that was pretty low to still satisfy him <laughs> being so close to the ground. Um, and I also shopped around for a rug, I was going for like a tribal uh, design. I found that and everything is going to be linked below. I put together this bed in just one day because I was rushing. I wanted it all to look good before Greg came home from underway. You'll see that clip later on where I surprise him. Let me do this, please. Let me finish. Let me finish. I know you want to help, but... According to instructions, this is a two-man job, but everything went smooth up until step number 10. That shit was crazy. Basically. How? How am I lying? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before you place anything anywhere, just step back and look at it. It's appreciate nice. it. I do. Just appreciate the organization. Yo, first of all, who put the bed together? Me, nigga. Oh. Me, by my damn self. Oh. Me and my little fingers that are all messed up now because of this stupid bed, including this stupid drawer. See, I knew, I knew I, I didn't need to. The top two are mine. The bottom two are yours. That is for everyday stuff. Um boxers shorts and then those are like your t-shirts and stuff your socks are right up there i don't even want to touch my like I, I, why not I'm sleep downstairs. you're being That's dramatic fine. All right, so now for the final not so final results drum roll please Oh my gosh, this turned out to be super cute. I am very proud of the outcome of this bedroom makeover. I love, love, love how I put the drawer in the middle to give it some type of separation because my husband and I are sharing. And there's still things that I need to do in this room, like over the bed, I wanna put something there. I don't know if it's gonna be um, just something hanging or a wallpaper or a shelf. 
Um, it is very important that when you have a small bedroom, you use up wall space. You don't want to use up square footage. If we were staying in this place a little longer, I would have gotten some type of floating um, side tables for nightstands. However, since we are a military family, I try to do things, but not too much. So our bed actually has storage space in the bottom, which is another cool hack. Get a bed that you can store things under. That black mirror on the wall is going to be swapped out for one a little slimmer. And oh my gosh, y'all, what do you think about the 8x10 rug on top of the wall-to-wall -wall carpet? Now, I was searching all over YouTube and couldn't find a good example of a king size bed laying on something as such so i kind of took a leap of faith i wasn't even sure if it was going to fit because i didn't measure the room but it turned out well i only have one complaint and that is that it buckles and like gets bulky in front of the bed which i don't like to look at or step on but it's okay for now i guess that faux plant is also going to be swapped out for a plant stand with my real fig that i bought during vlogmas just haven't found the right tall plant stand if you have any recommendations let me know in the comment section below as always thank you so much for watching and if you like videos like these let me know because i definitely have been doing some upgrades around the house and i don't mind showing you.